Right, so, here we go then. So we have our carburettor. We've already taken one off. So now that I hopefully know what I'm doing, I'm going to take this side apart. So we're going to start with the top and take this off. I've been told by the man who knows the most important that you keep the near side and the off side parts separate. Tray, are we for putting bits and pieces in? Are we, Dave? Yeah, just a oh, yeah no worries, I'm, I'm alright at the minute. <coughs> okay, so now we've got that top piece off. What we now need to do unscrew these four screws here. This will move around a little bit, but uh, oops, personally, I find it's easiest. Unscrew these. Oh, this is still in place. So you've got something to push down on. As so you just release. These to start with. There we go. Right. Once you've got them free, this does then just completely lift out. And then we can take the diaphragm off. Am I still using the right words, Dave? Huh? I am, am I? Am I making it look as if I know what I'm doing? Because <laughs> I haven't got a clue, you know. It's uh, Dave who's out of camera shot here. He's telling me everything to do. And he's the one that really knows. <laughs> the only thing is we've got to try to remember how to put it back together again, haven't we? Oh, sure we can do that. <laughs> Diaphragm goes in the bin. Oh, now then, that's the point. Let's see if I can sound like I really know what I'm talking about. Because on the diaphragm, here we go, there's a little notch, which you might be able to just see there. And that matches up with a notch on the underside of the diaphragm, just there. And on the outside of the diaphragm, there is another notch. Here we go, I can feel it. There we go. And that marries up. And I can see it on this one with a notch just there. So and then you know you've got the diaphragm in the right place. Dave, did I really sound like I knew what I was doing just there? <laughs> Right, so that can go in the bin. No, 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 don't leave me, you're not allowed, I need you. <laughs> right, I'm going to put all these bits in the empty tray now. If I can just, oh, I should tell you what, I can lean over, there we go. side and one with the near side so that we don't get our bits and pieces all muddled up. Okay, so that's right there. Oh yeah? Right, okay. So, right. Easy to transport. Lovely. Next piece to okay, right well you can petrol like anything now. Next piece to take off then. Shall I take the, do the float chamber next, Dave? Yeah. Okay. Whatever takes my fancy. Yeah, I've got to come up, so. Okay. This is going to take 
quite a bit of cleaning, isn't it? So I'm going to have a nice shiny carburetor to go with my nice shiny engine bay in the night I. just the six screws to get this off, isn't it? Yeah. That's <laughs> always the answer, isn't it? Oh, sorry it moved. There we go. I'll have to let it break one or two. You were sorry? I'll have to let it break one or two. Oh, don't say that. Right. Okay, Please so we're going to squeeze, all those, squeeze all those four in. Oh, I see where they are. Yeah. yeah. And push, and it push it out. I tell you what, that's squeeze all four together. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can. Well, I think whoever did these was having a laugh. If you push two and, and turn it a bit, yeah, they'll probably stop in. While you push the other two. Yeah, right. So you can see just here these little ones there, 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 and there. They've got catches on. So let's just. In fact, okay. all we've got to do is just get them past, past the lip, isn't it? Right, that's it. Oh, of course, and now that I've just released the pressure, they've sprung back. Oh, there we go. There we go, and we have them, so, so you can see what we've got here. Right, so that's that, and that's that, so that can go in the... You can take that uh, other ring off if you want. Right. Oh, right, all good. I'd love to, Dave. Oh, that looks a bit vicious. Does it? Well, it's just a little bit thin, you can get on the knee to take away from Oh, you're stretchy. a gentleman. You can do this one as well. I think. Can I really? Yeah, gosh. Oh, all right then. There we go. That's that one off. Right. So I'm gonna put that one with. It's not that it probably matters because these are the same things, aren't they? Yeah. I'll take this one off. Do you reckon now I fix my oil, my oil leak? It's just a matter of time before it's going to start leaking again, then, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I was so chuffed, I really was. Yeah. Right, so we're going to take the gasket off. And then we're going to take the float chamber off. And all we need to do is lift the float chamber up. 
and there's a couple of clips just there. Oh, I forgot to strip that. So you've got to make sure is that you don't lose the pin. I tell you what, get, yeah, give me that back. You distracted me. That's that's why I did that. <laughs> okay, you can have the, the float, and I'll give you these. Right. <clears throat> we put them in that blue thing now, are we? Okay, let's just move this out of the way temporarily. Right, so this, now that we need to take the needle out of this, and so there is a screw just here that we need to undo. Shall we see if this one will just come out? Or are we going to have to tap it out? No, that's got to tap out as well then. No, you've got to unscrew it with your tool. Ah! Whatever it is. Handy tool. Oh, that's a lot stiffer than the other one. No, they do stiffen up when they're not moved much. Wow. That is very stiff compared to the last one. The other one was really quite free. That's still okay. Let's see what they I'm going to. Do we want to? screw this back into this or is it alright to be with that little one on its own? Um, well, are you going to lose it? Probably. You better put it back I'll put it back then. then. <laughs> That's why we're saying about it because it's so small. Should I actually feel this free up when I've got to the right amount or because that is still very stiff. Will it pull out yet? Should do by now. Oh, yes, it did. It's just tight in there. Right now, then. So we're going to put this back in here. Oh, where do we go? Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. Well, we won't lose that. Oh yes, but not too far because we've got to knock this one out yet, haven't we? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this out until we have knocked it out because I don't want to catch it. Right, so... is just knocking that piece out. Right, so here we go. Whoa, there it is. So, next bit to take off. <coughs> Thank you. Panic. 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 No, I have no idea where it is. It could have gone anywhere. We always lose something, don't we? No, I'll carry on with this being as we're videoing. Right, okay, so I'm going to take off the... You said this was something to do with thermal something or other. Yeah. Well, what's its proper like name? Thermal bypass. That thermal bypass, that was yeah. it. It's, uh, as the as the carburetor warms up and the engine warms up, mm -hmm. it opens up and 
That's a small amount of air past fluid. Uh -huh. There was going to be a uh, something I had to prize out of that, but there isn't there. Wasn't there like a? It's that one, is it? Yeah. Took the shaft out for you. We haven't took the across the manifold, have we? Oh, I've got to take that. Oh gosh, right. I was that keen to get on with it, I forgot to actually take it off the manifold. Right. Shall I do that then? I put that one in a poly bag. Look, that's going to be useful <laughs> <laughs> so for the one that we've lost. When you find the ones of ours, it well, could go in a poly bag as well. Yeah, thank you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> wrong way, doing it wrong way. Oh, doing it up again. Why do I keep doing that? Good to practice, you'll get used to it. Oh, thank you, thank you. How many years do you think it'll take me? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> see if we have four nuts and four washers on this. We do actually, unlike the other side where we only had four nuts and three washers. There we go. <coughs> see if I can undo this one without tightening it up, shall we? That way. I think I've got it, you know. It's going to take me a while. We've got this exposed on this wall. Now I'm right in thinking I need to take well, this did, off first, don't I, to release the spring? Not necessarily, it was just yeah. we wanted to turn it round before to see if it was peened over. So you can just unscrew it. Yeah. Just unscrew it? Just unscrew them and take the butterfly okay. out. Well, Pressure on that custom. There we go. 
I suppose you can see that uh, star washer with your evil eyes, can you? Where do you think it went? Ah, uh, somewhere there. It flew, did it? Oh, it flew! It flew really well. You know, when we watch back on the video, we might, if I put it into slow motion, we might see where it went. <laughs> I don't know if it will do it in slow motion or not. It could have ended up in there. Make it dust. Oh. Right. So we can take that out. Let's get rid of these. Tidy up the workspace. Probably went ricocheting off something and landed up on the floor somewhere. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to release the spring on this mechanism here so that we can get this out nice and easily. to undo this one all right. At least I got this one the right way around. Instead of tightening this up like I seem to want to keep doing. <coughs> there we go. And now we should be able to pull this out. next. So we've got this mechanism to come out. It's these spring washers. Another one is just floating off somewhere. Cheers. That'd be good. Not. Now, does that pull out? I think. Does that pull out? Let's take them two screws off first. Oh. Thank you, Dave. This is why I need you here, you see. Uh, there we go. So, these two screws here. Could have sworn that. Uh, Oh, there it is. I found it. Yeah, not not the spring washer I wanted. Yeah, the one that really flew. But the one that went with that little thing. <clears throat> now, when you put that choke on with the bits, it all wants going in this bag. Ah, yes. 
because this is different. Oh, so the bits that I've just taken off here, Dave, the bits I've just taken off there, does that one going in the bag as yeah, well? Yeah. I'll just put them in the blue box. Mm I think it's this side where it was uh, where it's looking. So is this now the point? Do we do we need to measure the depth of the main? No, because we know what it is. Because we know what it is. So now I tap that out. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're to take lots of bits, aren't you? Do you want me to take that to bits first? Well, once I'll finish it off. Okay. Oh yeah, because we've got a... Silly me. What are you going to do? Right, so I'm going to take it this way. All right. There we go. You know that does a bit back. Um, oh, that does a bit back, okay. And then we've got to take... We've got oh, the spring washers off. This is two bits of metal, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, is this where we've got to... Um, well, that should go back. And you to just gently take that off without scratching that face. Right. So that <coughs> little pit there just won't fall in off. We yeah. don't catch that face. So okay. use a safe right. side of the fire. Okay, so what Dave's talking about is there's a tiny little hip of metal there, that's got to come off. <coughs> so, let's just move this round to here. Uh, let's make sure we can see what we're doing. Yes, we can. I'm doing it very, very carefully here. Yeah? Actually, that feels like it's gone already. Uh, well, it's only a little tiny bit. It has? Uh, so it's just a matter of tapping it down here. Yeah. Open the vice up. Open the vice up. Drop it on the vice. Not too wide. You want to catch it on somewhere on that face. So oh. Turn, turn it up a bit. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, Dave. Yeah. And perhaps a bit more, just a touch. Uh, to do. Yeah. Then tap it out. There's a screwdriver in there because it's too big. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And that's got that little hump circle in there as well, like the other one, which. Yeah. Right. <coughs> you can take a picture of that one. Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <coughs> let's carry on. Have we got anything else to take apart? Oh yes, we've got to get the main injector out, haven't we? The, well, not injector, the main 
main jet. The main jet, that's it. Mm. So you had a support something, didn't you? Lovely. Yep. There we go. And then, put this tapping tool again. This is where I had my heart in my mouth last time. I didn't like doing this for some reason. Let's going to hold it there, right? It's moving slowly. There we go. Done. And I think. That's it, that's everything taken apart, isn't it? Uh, no. No? Oh, okay, what else have we got to take off? Completely around. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that is this one. And the, the uh, air screw out the side as well. Right. Yeah. Gosh, that's stiff. There we go. Just want to try it. Sorry? Just want to try it. <laughs> I was trying. I was, I was. <laughs> and the air screw. Are you on about this? Yeah. Right. tapered one isn't it? Mm. it says I like I know what I'm talking about but actually I can guarantee I don't which is why I'm doing it with you Dave there we go take the two seals out two seals ok so they are is that, no that's not what it is it one male one on the opposite side ah right now you had that tool for it, didn't you? Mm. Okay, so one seal out here. Oh gosh! Oh dear, oh dear, that's all perished. Do go hard. Sorry? They do go hard. Could it have been leaking from there? I don't have me sucking the air in. Oh right, okay. And then on the other side, so that'll be this. Yep. I'll tell you what, these are in worse condition than the other side, aren't they? Yeah. And is that it now, for taking everything apart? I think so, just about. Brilliant. If you want to take, chuck them in now. In the bed. Yeah, because yeah, we've got re replacements, haven't we? Right, OK, so I will turn the video off, being as that is everything taken apart then. Yeah. So, uh, we've got all the carburetor taken apart and uh, I've now got two boxes of dirty parts which are basically going to get cleaned up and then when they're cleaned up then it's a case of rebuild the carburetor and uh, hopefully the car will be running beautifully again so that'll be my next uh, video uh, rebuilding it